Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1090. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1087, that was just a couple tricks ago, Excelarium gave us an alternative formula. Now, here's our deal. We have a column of readings, and we need to figure out when the reading is not between our below and above hurdle. So it makes logical sense to use the logical function or and ask two questions. Are you reading less than the lower hurdle, F4, or are you reading greater than the upper hurdle, F4, close parentheses? All right, the beauty of that one is it's easy to figure out the logic. It is an or statement. But check this out. Excelarium says we can use the median function. Median? What does the median function do? It actually takes a sorted list and will take the one in the middle. It's a type of measure for central location. But check this out. We're going to do something totally bizarre. I'm going to use number one, two, and three in the median. I'm going to take the reading, comma, the below hurdle, F4, the above hurdle, F4. Now check this out. What If we're taking one in the middle, well, right now, that 6.5 is between these, including if it gets 3.5 or 8.2. But watch what happens when we enter this. Double click and send it down. Every single time it's between, it will actually return the number of the reading. But when it's not, when it's below, it'll give the lower one. Even when it's above, it'll give the upper one. So check this out. We can simply say, are you not? And the comparative operator for not is less than, greater than, together. Are you not equal to the reading? Control Enter, double click, and send it down. That is pretty esoteric, totally amazing that Excelarium thought of this use for the median. Now, there's other uses similar to this for the median. So let's take a look. Let's come down here in payroll. We have a situation where we have begin cumulative. This is all the earnings you've earned so far in the year, your current paycheck, and the end cumulative. Well, for some taxes, there's a hurdle or a ceiling. Everything above 12,000 is not taxed. So look at this. This person started below the 12,000. They got 1,000 bucks, and then the end cumulative is 12,500. So only 500 of this should be taxed. In fact, if we go down here, this person would have equals the ceiling minus the begin cumulative. That's how much of their earnings are taxed. This person, since the end cumulative is way below, they get their whole paycheck, 1,500. This person is way above at the beginning, so it's 0. This person is exactly right on, so it's a 0. And finally, this person is going to have the whole amount because the end cumulative is underneath that ceiling. Now check this out. The long version would be something like that. There's an if to check end, begin, and ceiling. But watch this. We can use the median function, the median. And what do we have here? We either have the subtraction of the ceiling minus the begin cumulative, 0, or the whole paycheck. So that's what we're going to put in, three different things, 0, the actual paycheck, or Ceiling F4 minus this begin cumulative. And by the way, for the median, it doesn't matter in what order you put these in. I should have mentioned that above, too, because the median can take an unsorted list. It sorts it and figure out which one is in the middle. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. It gets the exact same thing as if we had done it by hand individually or we had a big long if. Now if we had our tax. We simply go equals round. And for taxes, you got to use round. And we just put our median in there. That's going to give us the amount that's taxed times our tax rate, F4, comma 2, because we're rounding to the penny. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. So that one right there is a lot shorter than that one, the median. 
comes to our rescue, we have one of three things and there's a hurdle. Here's another example. And actually, this one comes, I did this back in Excel Magic Trick 100 way back a long time ago. This is the Mr. Excel Excel Challenge back in the year 2007. Here's our deal. We have a hurdle of 10,000. We're having our daily sales. Once we cumulatively, and here's the formula for cumulative, or one formula to get the cumulative running total. I'm going to lock that first one, Control Enter, copy it down. The rule is, is once we pass this 10,000, then we get to jump to a higher commission rate. For the 2,500 and then this 5,500, our daily sales are multiplied by the 2%. But once we jump over the hurdle, we get to earn 3%. But the problem is, for this particular 5,000, 4,500 should be taxed at 2%, and 500 should be taxed at 3%. So if we were doing this longhand, let's look at the amount that's going to be taxed at the higher rate. Well, here we're not past the hurdle, right? So it's 0, 0. But here we want, what, 500. So it's actually the cumulative amount minus the hurdle. That one particular time, we need to do partial times the 3%. The rest of these, we get our full daily amount times the 3%. So we need to simulate this column here using medium. And I don't know about you, but this, and this was the challenge back in 2007. There were like 30 entries, and here's one that I thought up. That is a big, long, complicated if. So the median really comes to the rescue here. So now, notice we have some zeros, the subtraction or the full amount. So I'm going to put a 0 the full amount, which is a relative cell reference, or the running total. So I'm going to put the sum and lock that first one. This will be an expandable range. Control-Z works one time in edit mode. So the cumulative total minus the hurdle, F4, close parentheses. So we have one, two, three values. The median will always get the one in the middle. Double click and send it down. That is beautiful. If you come here, Alt MV to look at the formula evaluator and hit Enter, Enter, Enter. It's taking minus 4,500, that's a subtraction, the actual 3,000 or a 0 and the zeros in the middle. Let's go here, Alt MV. Enter, enter, enter. So here we have 500, the full amount, or a 0. So it's actually that little subtraction that's the one in the middle. And finally, down here, Alt-MV, Enter, Enter, Enter. Here we get a huge number, 3,000, the actual 2,500 and a 0. So the 2,500 is selected. So now we have the amount attacks by the 3%. But check this out. We can do this a bunch of ways. And actually, in that, that link there, you can go look at the link. There's like 30 different solutions. I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to take, hey, whatever the daily sales times the full 2% F4 plus the difference F4 minus F4. So we're taking the difference between the two tax rates, which is 1% times that median amount. Control Enter, double click and send it down. And so that's the amount. And we might want to use round there, although these percentages wouldn't give us a rounding error. So median for a commission, complicated commission problem, median for income taxes. And this could be done for uh, Social Security, unemployment, and other taxes where there's a hurdle. And even this awesome Excelarium uh, median not equal to the current reading. All right, we'll see you next video.